uh, that I uh, was very surprised at the uh, tarnish that yesterday suggested that there would be a further lockdown uh, in the new year. Uh, I believe he's throwing in the towel in relation to what we need to do in terms of managing this pandemic. Is we should make, need to make every possible effort to ensure that there are no further lockdowns uh, in this state uh, in 2021. Uh, but in that context, uh, and in light of his particular comments, does it not make sense, considering that the uh, payment breaks guarantee that had been in place with the banks is no longer in place, that we would reintroduce a uh, mortgage interest supplement, uh, particularly for people in receipt of the pandemic unemployment payment, because this would make a significant difference to people, particularly those that have seen a dramatic fall off uh, in their basic income, over half of those that are in receipt, uh, or about half of those that are in receipt of the pandemic uh, unemployment payment. Uh, just, uh, just really to acknowledge the point that's being made, I think you're, you're raising a wider point really around the pressure that people will be under who have mortgages uh, as they go through this, uh, and your your comments around the, the the possibility that mortgage interest supplement could play a role there. All I will say for a moment is that we we hit a point, uh, we'll certainly come back with the note, uh, and it, it isn't something that has featured really in our in our sort of thinking on this. Um, I suppose to some extent, a significant portion of the pandemic problem has has fallen to our department. That our, our focus has been primarily on the the income support uh, as opposed to the wider suite of sort of housing measures which have been handled sort of more widely across government. But we we hear the point, and uh, certainly we'll produce whatever information we can 